Good morning, everyone. I'm going to be demonstrating how to do cable on the knitting machine. So right now I have a blue sample set up. What you have to remember is you're looking at the back side of your cables. That's how you're working. So you can see that I've done a rib, I've, I've changed out some stock stitches uh, and turned it into the reverse of the stockinette, or otherwise known as ribs. And the tools that you're going to need today are the latch tool and all three of your transfer tools. So you're going to need all of these today. Your uh, cam lever is on S, or on, uh, I'm sorry, on zero or stockinette. And uh, I have the stitch set at 10, or the tension set at 10. Otherwise, your machine is just set for regular knitting. So let me show you how I got these, the, the uh, ribs. So I have a three stitch salvage. So I'm going to unravel my knitting and I'm going to find that last, you can see, here's the last stitch right above the cast on. So I'm going to put my latch tool in there and I'm going to unravel it. Okay, then I'm going to bring it forward and I'm going to latch tool those run stitches upward. And I'll push the needle forward, lift the latch, and set that in. And then I'm going to do the second of my rib. And don't go down too far without putting that latch tool in, especially if you have slippery yarn. Don't want to lose it. And we're going to latch tool that up. Okay. And that is how you're getting the rib knit on either side of the cables. Okay. So now we need to create the cables. So I'll do the six stitch cable first. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is remove the needles from the outside edges of this six stitch cable. And you are going to just gonna lift those all up. Okay. So I, oh, there we go. So I'm gonna do that. And then you want to remember which direction you are going to be twisting your cable. <clears throat> so for mine, I'm always taking the left, the left um, three-prong transfer tool. I'm always doing the left first and then the right. And you want to hold down with your thumb so you can get a good secure pop there. And you don't want any um, you don't want to make you want to make sure you're not splitting any of your stitches. Then push these into C position. 
Then you're going to take that latch tool again and you're going to latch tool up the last couple stitches. Move your needle forward. This is pretty tight. Okay, and you do the same thing here. Make sure I'm not splitting anything. And I'm going to latch tool those stitches up and put them just like so. Okay. So I have a four stitch cable as well. And interestingly enough, I don't have to remove the stitch from the two, the two stitches on either side of this four stitch cable. So for some reason I found out this is actually loose enough. Oops, I can see I have a stitch here that's, I've split it somehow. There we go. Okay. And if you hold down go on to the needles more easy more easily all right and then I'm going to lift up the levers I'm doing the left ones first use my thumb to really pop them off okay and those will come forward into C position. Okay, and then I have, but you may not be able to see, I'm going to do this side over here as well. And I think I'll get those levers up. Makes it a little easier. <coughs> Excuse me while I move my stool over. I need some place to put my tool <laughs> so it doesn't fall. Okay, I'm going to push those needles forward. Make sure the latches are lifted. Just makes it a little easier. The left one first. I'm holding those stitches down with my thumb. There we go. Hard parts done, and I am going to push these into, I'm going to push all of them now, into C position, which is right about like so. Okay. So now I am going to knit 10 rows, because I have 10 rows between each cable. One, two, oh, I have a loop there. Well, that's okay. I'm just going to use a demonstration. Get my weight back on. Probably why I did that. <laughs> Okay, so what I want to show you now is you're going to feel like you've just gone backward. <laughs> okay, so now we start the process of running again. And I timed myself and I found that it only took me six minutes to do this running and latching it back up. So it took me six minutes to do all of these, and it took me four minutes to transfer 
um, you know, create the, the cable twist. And I'm not going to go through that again because you've got the, you've got the general idea. Okay. But again, this is, this is how this is done. It's a lot easier on the second row or your second pass. All right. And latch tool that up. Try not to go at a diagonal. It's really easy to want to do that. And you do you'll do that across. I'll see how nice that looks. So you're going to continue to do that, and then in your cable areas, you're going to twist the stitches, do 10 more rows, and continue your creating your ribs. And it really doesn't take that long. I used to poo-poo the um the cable on the knitting machine, but as you practice and get better at it, it you'll really enjoy it. So that is how you do cable on the knitting machine. Oh, and you know you can see. You know, I'll kind of flip this up. Um, you can see how they're they're twisting. Get the light a little closer here. So there's your your twisting. Yeah, it works out really well. Okay. Thanks for watching.